dynamics have to get ahead early, and I just don't know how they're supposed to try and get in there. Here we are, Darmon on our blue side. Not too much of an issue here is Ghost going for the highest power possible. Rich coming on down, does have a slicing Maelstrom. Okay, there's the flash ah. in. Slicing Maelstrom's everywhere, but that is a very, very fast kill onto Rich. You didn't know that uh, Showmaker and Canyon were just waiting in the brush. Nuggery has teleport available, has heal. They're going to summon the Rift Herald in mid lane. They're going to let that crash into the turret. We got a little bit of a dance going on here. Yeah, Beyond's in trouble. He does manage to get the Drake. And unfortunately for Beryl, he's unable to get in there. The rest of Dynamics, they get themselves out. And unfortunately for them, it's the dumb one have a composition that does want to be playing around the mid game. So let's see whether this dive is going to work out. Slicing Maelstrom is going to be traded. Q comes on in there as Rich will have another Kingslayer, I think. Nugger's just going to go down. Silas pretty good at handling the dives. And yeah, uh, yeah that, was um, all, that was it. That was the ice. Uh, yeah. I, uh, and Silas. Uh, they'll just all hit like fuck. We got a big trade. Yeah. Beryl goes all the way in, but Beyond is in a great position. Beryl, not without the flash, is going to be in a whole host of trouble. He's going to go down first. Not going to dive onto Ghost just yet. Dynamics will be able to attack through this wave in and should be able to take down this turret as well. Ooh. As Ghost, you better run, my friend. There is no way. Uh, you're allowed to stay around this area. Canyon sneaks into the brush, looks for Guga, who flashes immediately. Very squishy. Yeah. Right here, as you what? can see. Oh, ah. looking for a Q, misses it straight up. Slight sidestep, teleport comes in as Beyond sets up onto Noggery. Canyon will be able to find that kill onto the Karma, but Rich is going to turn up, finds himself a kick, flash Ooh. immediately back. That's some really cute footwork out of Canyon, and he's going to be all right. Noggery. And a red and white jumpsuit. It's honestly impressive. Yeah. Immaculate, if I would say so myself. No, I had a great. There's the flash on top of him, though, as he's going to flash away immediately. Beyond gets a decent pillar down, and Noggery's going to be in trouble. Yep, take him down, Rich. Grabs it with his chain lashes. Now Canyon looking for Kuzan, who lands the chain. And Canyon can't land the Q. That would have been a dead LeBlanc. But uh, unfortunately for him, not going to work out there. A lot of this is also just Nuggery doing his... Whoa! Flash Zenith play comes down. Solar Flare is going to come in as well. Dockdown's just dead. Barrel really nicely orchestrated. True Shot Barrage just to search this lane. Yep. Pulling around this area. And Kuzan will find Nuggery. That's a lot of damage. The chains do land. That's the mimicked version as well. Double stun. 1,300 damage as now Nogari throws. Oh my god, it is so close. But so far, Beryl okay. is going to lock it down with an ulti. As Showmaker, oh, his Banshee's Veil had just been completed. And I don't think the chains of corruption are going to be enough. Guga trying to get him out of there with the Mantra Inspire. Just see, can you, uh, you can do four to one if you <laughs> want to do that one? Yeah, yeah. Well, Showmaker, he's going to get caught out of position. He's well and truly dead. That is a piercing arrow. And the rest of Dynamics, they do manage to reform the Phalanx. As, Whoa. okay, there's a solar flare. Flash forward from Beryl. Flash is good, though. Out of the, oh my god, Guga just oh. explodes. Kuzan also going to be falling down very, very low. And Nagari, he's close to falling, but Dr. immediate cleanse gets him to safety. Nagari's safe, and Damwon just pull a trigger I didn't even know existed in that yeah. moment. The, oh, although if you want to be super technical, Showmaker should get it. He has the higher level. Exactly. Might. Oh, Kuzan dashing on into the pit. Canyon is going to fall oh, down. But he has smite. Yeah, beyond his back in base, though. So the extra smite from the mid laner is going to be enough. And now Nagari is fighting against Rich and Beryl. Sorry, fighting against Rick with Beryl as Kuzan has to get the hell out of there. Doc Dom, you are way uh, too immobile to be fighting the Ezreal right here as Ghost is... Yeah, he's, he's certainly hit some power spikes. Rich is going to have to get out of there. The Baron... Well, Beryl's found some more friends. Five members of Team Dynamics here. Nogari trying to make his way oh! in. Beryl's going to be taken, though, as Rich. Oh. He goes golden, maybe prematurely oh, here. Oh, as in nice. goes Canyon. Oh, my God. Dr. Dom explodes. Guga follows suit. Nogari oh. finds the dream ulti. And they're just raising the turrets. Whoa! Okay, Canyon. Oh, okay. Not oh. bad. Uh, that was that was punishing Kuzan for pressing a W button. And then he was unable to play League of Legends after that point, and his screen went gray. If I was him, I would be submitting a ticket. It's like, I don't know what just happened. Um, no, he definitely does. It's not a great decision to make, as now Nexus Turret's to be taken down. Beyond, he's going to get flashed on. The Ignite is going to tick down, but he has a fountain, so he should be okay. The game, not so much, though. Last Nexus Turret to fall. Rich has a slicing mouse from there. It's a last-ditch effort, but the kick flash onto Dr. Arm is going to deny everything. 
And yes, they managed to kill Canyon, but their Nexus still falls down and Darm won. Yeah, Nogri also doing a lot of damage this game, and the fact that the uh, Lethality Varus failed to out-damage his son. Welcome back, everybody, to the post-game analysis. And Angry Daman picked up a win in game number one. How was the game? Looking at the draft, nothing really unconventional came out. It was very typical, and they were really sticking to their original style and double gaming as they usually do. They were super aggressively and they played around this aggressiveness. And Team Dynamics was looking for a punishment onto the over-aggressiveness of Daemon Gaming. So, even though Daemon Gaming did have a huge lead, Team Dynamics, they were really good at kind of taking all the fights that Daemon Gaming was trying to fight. Leona and Lee Sin on the side of Daemon Gaming was not a really good pick into Varus on side of the D Team Dynamics because he can single-handedly zone out two of those players. And they were really good at evening out the gold deficit because they were really good at macro and rotation all around the map. I guess Team Dynamics, they did adjust to the style of Daemon Gaming, and that was not a really bad try. Daemon Gaming, they are always fight and then think. At this time of the game, Cannon could not use his TP because he was getting hit by the turret. So that was a really nice pick on to Leona from Team Dynamics, but watch how Kenyon turned the whole momentum around. The way he doubles the aggro, aggro from the opponent player was on point. So while Lee buying so much time, Kenyon was able to PP for this bottom lane skirmish. Kenyon gathered up all the players onto the bottom lane and this trade did not end that bad for Daemon Gaming in the end. Varus and Karma, they should have got gotten a lot more winning ads throughout the laning phase, but by Daemon Gaming neutralizing this fight, they weren't able to accelerate the lead. At the same time, Team Dynamics, they were also really on point, answering the fights from Daemon Gaming. Daemon Gaming was adding pressure onto the mid lane and then they back after clearing out this vision around the mid lane. Because they had all the vision around that lane, Showmaker sneaked into that brush, but they spotted him with that ward behind him. And as they saw Zoe coming in for a assassination, well, actually, Lu Blanc took a detour to answer his fight. Some people might think that Showmaker was being a little bit greedy at that point, but it was rather Team Dynamics being really smart and reading the moves out of the Zoe. Dynamics could have get the tempo over there, but Shoemaker was looking for one more try, trying to chunk down Dokdam. This is the um, very characteristic play coming out from Tamon Gaming, being really speedy and going for one more try before they back. back. The player of the game will go to Kenyon and Lee Sin. LCK Lee Sin is no longer weak. The summer split is getting better and better. This was a really um, awesome backup coming in clutch because in the mic check, actually Rich say that he didn't really know that Lee Sin would be in the brush as well. He only expected Zoe to be there for a backup. At the end of the game, the level difference between two junglers was so huge and for skirmishes, Lee Sin is the best champion. 
As an LCK hold, this is a really good signal that players can pilot this champion with a very high proficiency. DRX and Dama Gaming are the two teams that they're really showing off really um, great performance on this pick, so this can be a great news for LCK. At the same time, Nogori got a lot of votes and also Showmaker, but Beryl did not manage to get a vote over here, but still, he did a great job on Leona as well. Now it's time to move on to game number two, Dama Gaming versus Team Dynamics.